Ah, absolutely insane power. How do they do it? If you don't know this absolute beast, his name is Filippo Garner and he is a professional cyclist. He also produced 590 watts for two minutes at the end, at the end of a TT race. That is absolutely crazy power. To give some context, a two slice toaster uses around 1000 watts when in use. So if you ask him really nicely, he may just be able to make your toast in the morning with the power of his legs. But why are we talking about this man, Filippo Garna? Well, I was browsing the world of YouTube, as you do, and I saw other YouTubers have tried to replicate the 590 watts that Filippo Garner produced for two minutes. Chris Pritchard was the first to give it a try and then Mark Lewis also gave it a try. These channels are both great if you haven't checked them out already. Now, Chris Pritchard used to be a track cyclist and now spends a lot of time on Zwift. Now, as you can imagine, a former track cyclist will have a big sprint. And as Mark said about Chris, he also has his own Wikipedia page, so he must be doing something right. Let's take a look at Chris's effort and see how he got on. 15 minute progressive warm up, I was ready for action. Now, Chris initially built his speed to just above 600 watts in the first 30 seconds. Very good going and very good pacing, may I add. He also said, and within seconds that heart rate was just sky rocketing. So you can see the effort that Chris is putting in here. And at the one minute and 20 second mark, the power drops off a little. And to quote Chris, and now you can see what happens from 40 seconds to go. I just try and hang in there. Now watching Chris do this effort made me realize just how hard this is going to be. Now, Chris managed to produce 480 watts average over the two minute period. If you are wondering why the time is two minutes and 11 seconds, that is because your character in Zwift, the game that we're using to actually test this, takes time to slow down. This extra 11 seconds counts towards your overall average, which is a little frustrating, but that's the nature of the beast. At the end of Chris's video, he also gave a little invite to other people telling them to take on the challenge. But if you want to replicate Filippo Garna, please go ahead and do so. Please go ahead and do so. Please go ahead and do so. Now I'm guessing Mark Lewis, who was the next person I saw to take on this challenge, heard those words, please go ahead, and thought, I fancy some pain, let's do it. Oh. 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 He then produced an ever amusing, slightly sarcastic video on his attempt to hit 590 watts for two minutes and it went a little something like this. So I've done a warm up, which has served only to exhaust me, really. He makes a good point though about properly warming up. I need to make sure that my legs are nice and ready before I take on my effort. I don't want to pull a hamstring like an old elastic band. To give you some more context on this channel, most people who sprint, will be happy with a power around 1000 watts and that's just reaching over a thousand as your max effort now think about a full-blown sprint on the bike right think how hard that is then half that and basically you're gonna have to hold that for two minutes at least so two minutes at 600 watts is clearly insane even 480 for even a few seconds felt Borderline ridiculous. Now Mark steamed out of the blocks up to 800 watts and then brought the wattage down to a sustainable level. I mean, that's good power from the get-go, giving Mark a solid average at the start. Now he also said the first 40 seconds to a minute didn't feel horrendously bad. It was at the one minute and 10 second mark when the fatigue started to kick in. So yeah, one minute 10, this is where, this is where it got tough. In my head, I'm, I'm doing the whole no pain. No pain. No pain. Then for the remainder, it was about digging deep. Interestingly, Mark said he was looking to keep his average over 500 watts, which I think is a good strategy given the high power at the start of the race, which will bring the overall average up. Over the line, Mark had a 505 watt average, over 500 watts, two minutes, 
Well played, my friend. That is a cracking effort. I was really happy with that. So how am I going to fare in this challenge? Now I can hold just over 305 watts for one hour, roughly. So 590 watts for two minutes definitely seems brutal. I am gonna be in the red zone, I'm gonna be struggling, and I'd assume my heart rate will be through the roof, and the lactic acid would have built a small town in my legs, so I'd be happy with anything over 450 watts, and if I get near to 500, that would be smashing indeed. I want to quickly talk about power to weight ratio. In layman's terms, take a car that weighs 1,000 kilograms and has 300 brake horsepower. Then compare it to a car that weighs 2,000 kilograms and also has 300 brake horsepower. Which one is actually faster? The lighter car will be faster even though both cars have the same power output. At the end of this video, we'll look at all the results including power to weight ratio. Now I had a pretty good warm up, it was 26 minutes in total, so no playing around with the warm up because this effort is really hard, I need to give it the respect that it needs. So that got the body going, it does help when you have primes. I also done some sort of cadence drills where I really up my cadence really high, which gets your blood pumping around your body. Wasn't an easy warm up, but I'm ready for this two minute challenge. Let's get it and see how it goes. And we are go. Now out of the blocks, I just put a lot of power down. Now probably too much. I was up to nine something and then 600, 700. So I really pushed out the blocks. Don't ask me why, probably a bit of adrenaline and hoping to get a high average at the start. 600, 500. I could feel it, but not too bad. Wasn't looking at the time. Don't want to look at the time at all because that reminds me how long I'm going to be suffering for and I don't really want to see that it's off putting. 600, 500, right, we're into 30 seconds complete and starting to feel the burn, not gonna lie, people starting to worry now, how am I gonna do this for this long? How am I gonna hold such a high power? We're still trying to be above 500, 599, 600. So this early start and these high watts at the start is gonna push my average up, which I am very pleased about indeed. However, we are now 50 seconds in and welcome to Burnville. My thighs were crying out, my lungs were hurting. My lungs were actually hurting quite a lot, weirdly. Um, and then we're down, we're down into the fours. We're down into the four, four twenty. I saw three, 390, which is not good. So the average is being pulled back down. Thinking in my head, trying to keep it above 500. That's what Mark Lewis did. And I thought that was quite a good target. However, I'm feeling my legs now. There's no way I can hold up above 500 for another 45 seconds. So drop down we go. Now we're in the 400 now, trying to keep it steady, trying to keep a rhythm with my pedals, not thinking about the time, just focusing on rhythm, 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 rhythm. If you lose that rhythm, you lose the power. So you see it dropping, then back in the rhythm, then dropping, back in the rhythm. I'm still going though, 360, 380, 400, still trying to keep above 400 now. Looking at the time now, I know I've got 20 seconds to go and it's all out everywhere empty the tank basically so 16 seconds 15 14 i'm pretty sure i got out of the saddle at some point 330 i'm up we're back up into the fives we're trying to keep it in the front no we didn't 430 430 440s ah ouch oh my lungs just couldn't get air in insane Absolutely insane power, how do they do it? Absolutely brutal, absolutely brutal. Now, what do we have? We have 502 watts average for two minutes. That was exactly one mile. <coughs> Sorry, the cough, that's from my lungs, crying out doing this challenge. But more importantly, how did I compare against Mark and Chris and Filippo Garner. So we've got some stats. First of all, we've got weight. So Chris Pritchard is 78 kilograms. Mark Lewis, around 100 kilograms, I believe. Um, I'm 77 kilograms and Garner is 82 kilograms. That matters because of what's per kilogram. Now, two minute power, Chris, 480 watts. Mark, 505 watts. Mine is actually 447 if we do a direct comparison to theirs. Now what I've done is I added 10 seconds onto the end of my two minutes and that brought me to 447. Fair is fair people. 
and Garner obviously had 590 watts, which is just absurd. Now, watts per kilo, which is arguably the most important stat. So in Chris's case, we have 480 watts. We divide that by his body weight, which was 78, which gets 6.15 watts per kilo. Mark, 5.05 watts per kilo. Me, 5.8 watts per kilo. And Garner, 7.1 watts per kilo. So I hope this video really helps you understand what a normal human, normal cyclist is like to someone who has great genetics and trained their whole life to be a cyclist. Now I challenge anyone watching this video to, to give this two minute challenge a try and see how you fare against all of us people. Now as always, thanks for watching fine people. Until the next one, I will see you soon.